I'm Anil Kumar and here are three questions directly based on the properties of Pascal's triangles. We'll discuss property 5 and 6 with the help of these three examples. Question number one is calculate the sum of minus 1 to the power of r times 71 choose r where r goes from 0 to 71. Question number two is how is NCR related with sum of natural numbers? And question number three is, find the sum of first hundred natural numbers from the results of previous question. Now let's get back to question number one. This is based on property five. So we have learned uh, property five for Pascal's triangle, which gives you uh, the sum. So if you look into Pascal's triangle, which is kind of uh, like this, right? So uh, let's just review it. Uh, 1, 3, 3, 1. So when we multiply by minus 1 to the power of r, this is the zeroth row, they will remain positive. The first row terms will become negative, right? So let me just make them negative, right? 1. Second row will remain positive. The third will become negative, correct? So that is how you will get the terms. And this, of course, extends. So when you find the sum, so the sum of the first row is indeed equal to 1, but for the other rows, 1 minus 1 is 0, and when you add them up, 1 minus 2 plus 1, again 0, and then again 0, right? So what you see is that the sum is 0 when n is not equal to 0, correct? So only in 0 row, so here n equals to 0, is that okay? And in this case, n equals to 1, and so on. So when n is equal to 0, the sum is 1. But if n is not equal to 0, in that case, the sum is 0. So that is your property 5, right? So from this property, we get this sum should be 0, correct? So that is the direct application. Question number 2 is, how is NCR related with sum of natural numbers? So we know sum of natural numbers is indeed equals to n plus 1 CR, right? So, or rather n plus 1 C2. So in this series, uh, the third column actually gives you the sum of natural uh, numbers. I mean, okay, so this is 0, 1, 2. That gives you, this, this series gives you the sum of natural numbers, if you see. So if you extend it, I mean, it may be uh, clear. Okay, so... Okay, so if you kind of extend it, let me, let's write, uh, I should not extend this one, this is with negative sign. Anyway, so you can do this exercise, but we know this is also a property, and we call this as property 6, right? So the property 6 says that the sum of natural numbers is n plus 1 C2. So that is what the property is, and question number 3 is related with that property find the sum of first hundred natural numbers from the results of previous question we know the formula here is n plus 1 c2 n is equal to 100 right so first hundred numbers so we'll have uh, n plus 1 which is 100 plus 1 so we get 101 c2 as the answer we can use calculator to find 101 uh, C2 gives us 50 50 so that is the result 50 50 is the sum of first hundred terms correct so that is how we can apply these properties of binomial coefficients I should say Pascal's triangles and solve these questions I hope that helps you to review what we have learned about Pascal's triangles and the relation with binomial coefficients. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.